Game Acclaim presents The Rundown, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Hey everyone, welcome to The Rundown, where we're going to do our part 3 of the Dragon Ball Xenoverse series. This episode will be taking a look at all your basic abilities and uh, attacks, such as striking, key blasts, supers, and ultimate finishes. To start, we're going to go ahead and scroll on to customize. And then we'll look at change skill set. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you'll notice most of my attacks here are they have the key blast icons, which means, you know, these are your far away laser light show type attacks. That's because that's what my character is mostly known for. Like I built him specifically for being a key blast specialist. However, you'll notice you have super attacks, ultimate attacks, and evasive skills here. If you want to change any of these, you just simply choose the one you want to change, hit the button, and you'll have a different combination of uh, abilities here. They're very in different uh, key used and you know what they actually do. You can see in the uh, right hand window here that each one has a different description of what it does exactly. We're going to go ahead and do this uh, section by section because it's just a little bit easier. We'll do strike skills. So every strike skill, as you can see, has the, that specific icon next to it. It's kind of like a ring with, uh, you know, little spikes sticking out of it. This basically means these are your melee attacks and these are all supers. Okay. Which means um, they're not a, technically a finishing move, even though you could finish with them, but they're more for like just whenever you can get damage in the best you can different things for different people you may notice some of these uh are named after characters in the series like raccoon kick uh the mock punch and kick these are all raccoon specific abilities that you can learn through the game either by completing parallel quests or buying them from the store uh just because they are his specific moves does i mean you have to use raccoon to use them you can't equip them so like if i wanted to equip mock punch bam now i can use mock punch as long as you own it and it it has a reason to be used by the character like i'm an earthling so you see where it says skill used by in the top right of that window on the right hand side the first two are earthlings the next two are saiyans then you have nomic freeza race and majin Buu. so all of these are pretty much used by everybody but there are going to be times when there are special abilities that can only be used for certain things. For example, transformation. Kaioken can be used by everything. However, you can buy Super Saiyan transformation, which can only be used by Saiyans. It's just, just an example. Anyway, so strike skills. As you can see, we have Mach Punch, Saucer Blade, Pearl Flash. I don't have nearly all of them. There are a ton to unlock. But since I'm not really worried about uh, strike skills on this character, I don't really have a ton unlocked for him. However, if I were to go to key blast skills, you can see I have a lot more key blast skills just because that's what I do. There are um, plenty here to choose from, you know, 10 times or times 10 Kamehameha. I've got Spirit Bomb, regular Kamehameha. These are all things most people know. Destructo Disc is what I normally use in that slot. Gallet gun from Vegeta, you know, finish breaker, raccoon eraser gun, even the big bang Kamehameha. I don't have the times 100 big bang Kamehameha. It's Kamehameha, Kamehameha, Kamehameha. Wow, I can't speak. Big bang Kamehameha, but it is in there. You have fighting poses. See, like, these are skill types, like this, for example, fighting pose, you strike a pose and fix abnormal status. So if you're hit with a poison or something that locks you down or something, you could actually do this and it'll prevent that from actually happening to you this fighting pose will give you a temporarily speed up this one will make you temporarily go stronger they're just you know they're little poses they take up a move slot like so and they will you know they don't do any damage but they're just like status boosting abilities um if we go down even more here Let's see we got transformation power-ups see we're, we're breaking it down by section now and then you have others so you have instant transmission which lets you teleport for around the place uh super guard 
after image strike solar flare from tn everybody knows solar flare spirit boost full power charge extra okay full power charge maximum charge there is one in between those two but maximum charge is the most powerful of those types of abilities what that basically is is where you sit there and you can hold down the button and you can charge up your key so that you can use more special key blasts and supers and whatnot that's all that is and then we're back to all again like this is just everything that i have on this character it's not a lot i mean it okay it is a lot but it's not everything in the game there are tons to do and i'll show you in just a second on how to unlock more of these so we're gonna go back and put this back to destructive disc just actually you know what it's just so i can show you what a strike skill is let's use uh We'll use, uh, we'll use Meteor Strike, because why not? So, you have Super Attack, Super Attack, Super Attack, Super Attack, right? But then you come down to your Ultimate Attack. We'll get to Ultimates in a second. We're going to take a look at Evasive Skill first. So, Evasive Skill is basically when you're being attacked repeatedly, and you're basically getting juggled, and you don't know what to do. Um, this will allow you to break it. It's, it's a combo breaker, more or less. But you can only use it if you have the specific amount of stamina or key that is required. Like, see how these are 300 stamina to use. That's three stamina bars to uh, break out of certain things. So you have Psycho Escape. These are, okay, like, so these icons right here where it looks like you're being powered up. Basically, all they do is it's an evasive move where you can move up really fast, move down really fast, or expunge a huge uh, amount of stamina in order to distance yourself in some way shape or form these are all movements these which look like key blasts are actually what they are they do damage and they break people off of you so for example this says set off a powerful explosion and make your enemy stagger what happens is when they're attacking you and comboing you and you can't get out of it and you use explosive wave you release such a huge amount of key from every direction. That's a 360 degree radius that everybody that's hitting you and within range that isn't blocking or isn't able to dodge it will go flying across the map. Incredibly useful. I, of course, have super explosive wave, which is, you know, a, a more powerful version of the same thing, pretty much. Uh, lastly here we have ultimate attacks where I use final flash and I have innocence breath I usually use something else. I just wanted to see what it was like final flash is my bread and butter though right now so We'll look at strike skills. So you have victory rush actually, you know, what? we'll make victory rush one of uh, One of my ultimate so you can see a striking ultimate here victory rush and the other one that I had unrelenting barrage but my my true love is the key blast finisher. So I have super command man. I have full power energy blast volley, chain destructo disc barrage, weekend vacation Dilly giant storm, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm I'm a huge Vegeta fan. I just always have been, and I love Final Flash, and I love the way it looks when it's being used. So we're gonna go ahead and keep Final Flash here. So I'll use that as the key blast ultimate attack uh, demonstration. So yeah, that's pretty much how you set those up. It's just whatever you buy and everything, which I'll show you how to buy things uh, for your moves here in a minute. You set it all up and you go into customize and you just set them as you need. Now you'll notice I'm in a city. We're gonna go ahead and walk over here. Let me pull up, uh, pull up my map. You can see we're in the time machine station. We're gonna go to the industrial sector because that's where you buy all your stuff. So we're gonna walk over here <clears throat> and load for a moment. And you'll notice there's tons of shops. We have item shops and mixing shops and whatnot, which I'll get into later on in the series. Right now, what we're looking for is the skill shop. Run all the way over here and talk to this little guy. And you can purchase and sell things. Now, I don't have much in here because I bought most of the stuff that was in here, but this is a good place to get uh, any skills that you may have unlocked, which you didn't actually acquire yet or purchase so you can have super you can sort of buy super attacks and i there's no ultimate attacks for me to buy because i already bought the ones that were available 
I have 838,300 zenny. So if I wanted, I can just, you know, if I want to buy uh, Justice Pose, okay, you go to it, you can hit confirm. Do you want to purchase? Yes. And that's pretty much it. Once you buy something, it goes into your list of usable abilities. So if I want to, you know, I bought that. Yes, I'll, I'll come again momentarily. So you go back into customize, change your skill set. And I bought a pose. So if I wanted to change that, go over here. And there it is, just as pose. You notice it had a little swirly thing next to it to show that it's new. That's pretty much all there is to getting and acquiring um, purchasable abilities and equipping them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go, let's see. We will go back to where we were. We're going to go back to the time machine station. All the way back over here. Also, this music, although I love Dragon Ball music, gets so repetitive and annoying after a while. <sighs> okay, so running around, running around. And see, these are the offline and online battles. Again, we'll get into that uh, into more detail in another video, what they do. <clears throat> and these are also the parallel quests. So when you're leveling up your character, you can only level up so much through the story mode. And these are quests that allow you to continue leveling up and to earn different moves and abilities. So you go to select a parallel quest. I haven't, I mean, I obviously I don't have Z ranking on any of them or S rankings for that matter. But as of right now, there are 55 parallel quests that you can do. And they all have different, you know, requirements for you to do things like parallel quest tutorial or world tag or world tournament tag team defeat Yamcha, Krillin, and Tien. But if you do it, if you do certain things, you know, you unlock other things. But what you need to look for here is when you hit to the right, you'll have a list of things that you can acquire, be it items or usable equipment or whatever. But there are also, as you can see, moves that you can learn. After image, solar flare, and energy shot. If you do things right, you can actually earn one of those or, or more. And every, every PQ here, Parallel Quest, has a different thing that you can learn. Like Saiyan Blood, you can learn to use the Kamehameha. But as you go down, we'll go to the higher end stuff here. You, you do it right for Saiyan Warriors and you can learn the times 100 Big Bang Kamehameha. These are how you learn the big powerful moves that you know, you've come to know and love from the Dragon Ball universe. Final Cannon, Kamehameha. Riot Javelin, the Majin Kamehameha, like all these things, you, this is how you earn them. It's not easy. I'm, I, there's a weird way to get certain things and you have to uh, really be lucky because this game is very RNG oriented. But if you do get it right, it's so satisfying to finally get the move you've been looking for. Ugh, so good. All right. Anyway, so now we're gonna run over to the offline battles here. Just I'm just gonna set up a 1v1 so I can show you some of these moves that I uh, equipped. Just do we do a quick mobile rundown real quick. Um, we're gonna use Meteor Strike, Spirit Bomb, Times 10 Kamehameha, Maximum Charge, Final Flash, Victory Rush, and Super Explosive Wave. Okay, here we go. Don't expect my strike moves to do a lot of damage or anything, because, like, again, this character is not really made for striking. But I will still show it off anyway. So we're going to do 1v1. <clears throat> and we'll select my character. And just because, why not? We'll fight, we'll fight Goku. Because everybody wants to fight Goku and become stronger. And we'll go ahead and pick a... We'll pick the World Tournament stage, because why not? It's go time! Okay, so... This is me charging up. This is maximum charge. You'll notice my key meter is very high, and it's going way up. Now, when you do moves... Uh, first of all, you have a combo list here, and you can look at your different you know, chargeable combos and everything. But when you're doing moves here, you have to hold down a certain button. Cause like, if you just attack, you just do random, just do your standard attack, you just do random strikes. This is your striking. 
See what he just did? That's called an evasive move. He broke my combo by knocking me out of the air. And there's your teleporting. And you can do combos. You can do all the standard, you know, DBZ style fighting. You also, oh, jeez. Okay, so he just hit me with Kamehameha. That would be a super for him. A super key blast. Now, for regular key blasts, you know, you can just do regular key blasting here. Or you can hold down, uh, on my in my case, the right trigger, and you'll bring up a list of moves here, and you can start doing certain things. So, like, we'll hit X, and we'll gather for a mini spirit bomb. And throw the spirit bomb at him. He blocked it. Okay, so see, I mean, that's how it works. Times 10 Kamehameha. Hold down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Release. And there's your times 10 Kamehameha. I'm gonna block this. Now, you'll notice my key is still going up because I'm an Earthling and because I hit him, I actually regenerated more key. Uh, what else do we have to do? Uh, Meteor Strike. So if we get, get close. Oh, he's gonna be a jerk and break it. That's Meteor Strike. Basically, you keep going back and forth with it. That's your, uh, your striking super. Now, if you hold down right trigger and then you hold down left trigger, you bring up your super meter. Or, I'm sorry, not your super, your ultimate. So, we'll start with Victory Rush if we can. I'm, like, running out of time here. I forgot there's a time limit. So, we'll start with Victory Rush. That was Victory Rush, that's that super, or ultimate. And now, we'll work with Final Flash. So, this is how I normally do this. You know, get a little combo going. Oh, he's gonna run for me. And then, Final Flash. And that's Final Flash Super Move, or Ultimate Move. I don't know why I keep saying Super Move. It's an Ultimate Move, Eric, Ultimate Move. Anyway. As you can see, like there, there's a difference of moves and styles that you can use here. Um, it all depends on how you like to play. I prefer to play more ranged. It's just my style. So, like, I'll show you. I'll show you a standard fight. How I normally would fight a character like this. Of course, I'm not using my standard moves. I usually have Destructo Disc and everything, but. Oh, that's a throw. Okay, fine. You know what? Break his combo. Okay, so now he broke my combo. Now his stamina is low for the most part. He's oh, he's being very evasive today. All right, fine. You know what? See, okay, so here's another thing to note about your moves. There are certain moves that have to charge up, like this times 10 Kamehameha. If he hits you while you're doing it, then you basically just stop doing whatever it was you were doing. Same thing with, like, this mini spirit bomb here. See? If he's hitting you, then it's not going to do anything. Alright, Goku, you're getting annoying. Now I must end you. Come here, you. See, that's my explosive wave right there. I should have used it properly. I was trying to show it off, and then now I'm gonna get screwed. Dodge that, and then get behind him, and final flash! And wow, he apparently dodged it as well. Good on you, Goku. Good on you. But see, since I have so much key, I can sit here and I can do it again if I want. And then my key is going up a little bit. And guess what, Goku? I am all powerful. Eat another final flash. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's very self-explanatory when you're doing moves like this. It's striking is obviously your melee, your punches, your kicks, your headbutts, whatever. Your key blasts are your big, flashy, destructive laser beam moves. And that's all there is to it. That's pretty much the rundown for, you know how these moves work so we're gonna go ahead and go back to Toki Toki City here <clears throat>
So for a quick analysis again, all you have to do is work on PQs, which are the parallel quests to earn certain moves. You can buy them from the store at certain times. Uh, you can even learn them from your masters. So what that means is there are occasionally a master that you can talk to that you can, uh, you know, you learn from. So like if I bring it up real quick and I go to play data, you'll notice I'm missing a couple of them on the ends there. I'll get those eventually, but you'll see how you have Goku's complete max and Vegeta who's complete max and everything. What that is is basically they become your sensei, your trainer. And if you do everything that they tell you to do, they'll teach you certain moves. Like I learned the spirit bomb from Goku. Um, Destructo disc from Krillin, etc., etc. That's another way to acquire moves. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. You acquire moves from various ways, you equip them as needed, and you use them based on the playstyle that you want to use. We'll go back over and uh, just chill right here, I guess. We'll, we'll end this with a little pose. Let's do... We'll do the Ginyu pose, because why not? Aw, yeah. That Ginyu pose. Anyway. Thanks for watching episode 3 of the DBXV Dragon Balls Universe Rundown. We will see you next time for part 4. See you guys.